Hey, hold your horses. Don't go out and buy any plants just yet. Hold it. Now you've got to start thinking about what you can do now before any plants go in the ground. And here's what I'm talking about. How's your grade? Well, yeah, I'm sure you were A plus grade. Grade? A plus? Is it not? South yeah. Jersey's flat. Yeah, it is. You know? And the grade in South Jersey's flat. And, and you can artificially change that grade by adding some soil and having like a low... Uh, retaining wall built out of stone. I love natural stone. Uh, I'm sorry. You know, the paver walls and concrete block and that kind of stuff. It's it's very good as far as some of the creative things that can be done with it. But there's nothing like natural stone. Oh, yeah. And hey. it's not too hard. You can dry stack natural stone. Um, I'm proud to say that uh, Steve Kendall, a friend, friend of mine's house, years ago when I was much younger and spry. Uh, I, I built a landscape for him and, and I built a dry stacked, it was about four foot retaining wall around his landscape. And, and um, I hope it's still there. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't talked to him while maybe it fell down. But uh, no, it can, it's, it's there. And one of the secrets to using natural stone is that you got to keep the top of each course level. So before you go on to the next course, you got to make sure that it's level. And then when you start with the next course on top of that, you try to split the seams so they lock in place with the weight of the stone. And ever so slightly, you have it like where it's just tilted back just a little bit into the grade. Most of the time in, again, South Jersey, the walls aren't very tall or it's not very, not very big. Um, but in Northern Jersey, absolutely. Uh, there, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, <laughs> my hometown where I lived, you know what the name of my street was? Yeah. Rockledge Terrace. <laughs> <laughs> so we know what's going so on. So like North Jersey, you know, the, the elevations are very different. Um, and again, you can still use dry stack retaining wall and natural stone just looks so good. But getting off of that, this is the one time where you can change your grade. You can add soil and make it like a berm. You can, you can improve your soil, certainly by adding bumper crop and humus and manure and peat moss and, and mix that in. Because your landscape is more than just trees or shrubs, right, Oil? Yeah, it's more than that. Perennials. Perennials. Yeah. Perennials. Annuals. Yeah, when you're putting annuals in and bulbs. And bulbs, yeah. We're you're going to plant that in, in that soil, and that now's your chance where you get to improve it so that you have good soil. Not, gosh, how often do you hear, oh, I got clay. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. clay. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you've got clay and you have the chance to improve that clay into a good loam by adding in organic matter, now is the time. Now is the time to do it. Don't don't just kind of, nah. Let it go. Nah. I'm going to plant one plant at a time and throw some dyed mulch at it. <laughs> black dyed mulch. Yeah, black dyed mulch. There you go. Yeah, better. <laughs> <sighs> we try so hard. <laughs> <laughs> we are educators. <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's the one time that you can do this. So don't run out and try to you know, that it's a burden and you just want to get it over with quick, take so. your time. Take your time. Um, again, adding elevation to a design, make it more dynamic. And it's also where, you know, that we talk about boulders and there's these things called like one man boulder, two man boulders. And they're basically just that. It's like, you know, a boulder that it takes two men to pick up. And the natural stone that looks like it's from like the Poconos or somewhere that is um, that where it's natural to what you would say, you know, it doesn't look like it's from Arizona, you know, <laughs> where it looks like it's from, you know, yeah, West, either it's Western. the Delaware uh, Water Gap or, or in the somewhere, you know, in the local area. Even if you're digging in and you find you have rock, put those aside because you can always use them as a part of your landscape. 
make sure you're thinking about your soil. Just think about your soil, improve the soil before you get, in, you know, planting and installing your landscape. You know, you dig a hole twice the size of the root ball of the plant. You mix in half bumper crop and half the regular soil that you just dug out of the hole. You mix it all together and then that's how you plant. Then you put that in and that you want to make sure that the top of the roots are not below the level line of the soil. Even if you've artificially created it to where it's higher, you want it to be at that level or else you can smother your plants. You know, my son Carl that does a lot of the landscaping at Bloomers where he just drives them crazy when he sees, you know, he calls them plant volcanoes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. where it's like they brush all the soil and they put it around the stem of the, the or the trunk and it's just it smothers the plant kills it so again you want that root system to be slight you know slightly raised or level with the existing grade not below you're going to mulch after that and that that will help uh, with with it drying out and such but again you don't want it to be buried too deep all right. Uh, well, you got anything to add about the soil? I always say to everybody who comes in, the foundation is so important because without that, you're going to fail. And it'll be a slow death later on. It will. It will. And, and you'll wonder, it's like, how come my plants don't look good? Hey, when people come in, they have plant problems. There's only two things. One, it's environmental issue, meaning somebody planted them wrong or is overwatering or something along those lines, or it's an insect or disease. Uh, most of the time, honestly, it's an environmental issue where it's something that's been done wrong to it. And a lot of time it's overwater, planted too deep, those kind of things. So now's your time to pay attention to those things. That's before you go out and buy any plants. Uh, hey, next landscape project go out there and use some stone in your landscape it's going to look great 